my name is Angie Mayhew and this is the Be Band Ready campaign. Today I'm going to be teaching you a 45 on flag. So anytime that we normally spin our flag, we're in the toaster plane. That's what we like to call it, the 2D plane. Uh, if you're looking at me from the side, it's just going straight down, straight up. So I'm trying to stay in the toaster the whole time as if my body is literally inside of a toaster. This 45 plane is one of the first times that I learned myself how to get out of that toaster plane. So we're gonna start with our right hand at the tab, our left hand at the bottom tape, if you have one of those, and we're gonna start with our flag straight to the back of the room. So make sure that this pole, if you had yard lines right next to you, it'd be going straight down the yard line. It's not off to the side, it's not in my toaster, it's pointing straight to the back of the field or the room, yeah? From here, we're gonna pull it up through flat. Now this is one of the biggest checkpoints when learning a 45 toss. We're going from this back angle, we're lifting up at the same time with both hands to get these hands to flat. So I'm not trying to go left, right, and I'm not trying to go right, left. Yeah, I'm trying to get both of these hands to move at the exact same time. Another key element of this is that it's right in line with the width of my body. I'm not trying to do it over here or vice versa, off to the left. I'm really just pulling up and going straight through just outside my shoulders on both of these hands. Then from here, my right hand is gonna push upward and my left hand is going to tuck behind my ponytail. So it's continuing to do both hands at the same time. Again, I'm not trying to go right, left or vice versa. I'm just trying to lift up both hands at the same time as this pole sneaks behind my head. And now my flag is out on a 45 pitch as you can see, yeah? So if you're looking at me from the side, I go from a back angle, I come up through flat, and then I go up to this angle right here. And that is what sets the plane for my 45 toss. As you can see, if it was in a toaster, it'd be straight up and down, and that's almost like hyperextending. I'm going straight to that 45 toss. So if you look up while you're at your release point, you should be able to see that little flag tip right above you on your 45 plane, yeah? So just get comfortable a few times going from here, flat up. Do it slowly at first. Make sure that you're getting that right plane, flat and up. And then as you get more comfortable with it, go ahead and get it a little bit quicker. Out, as if you're going to release, yeah? I'll show you a couple times from the side. And out, yeah. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight, and out. Yeah, we're trying to get it out on count one. So now let's try a 45 toss together. We're just gonna go from here out to a silk up 45 toss. Yeah, we're gonna go out on one. You can see that my free hand, so right now I'm just holding this one, and this one's tucking behind my head. Just like a normal pop toss, my right hand controls the height of my flag, my left hand controls the rotation. So if you feel like your flag is rotating slowly, just think about pulling your left hand behind your head a little bit quicker. I'll show you one more time. Five, six, seven, squeeze it. Out, two, three. Yeah. We're just going for that single rotation, silk up right now. Yeah, let's try it together. Here we go. Five, and six, and five, six, seven, eight, and out, two, and three. Great, let's do it one more time. Five and six and five, six, seven, eight, and up, two, and three. Great, so I think that a 45 toss is a super important fundamental to have because you can do a million different type of 45 tosses as well as if you start getting more comfortable on that plane, then choreography that you do can travel out of the toaster onto that satellite plane. And these tosses definitely help you understand that. So I'll show you a few more 45 tosses that you can do now that you have the basic skill. So you can do that same one that we were working on, but you can do a half more rotation to catch silk down. You can also do these uh, from the silk side, either that little half to the silk down, or you can go the full um, single to silk up. You can start doing one-handed 45 tosses from the pole, or you can do them from the left wing or the right. So 45 tosses, there's a million different kinds. Um, you can start doing things underneath of them, but the basis, that flat and that 45 point release point behind your head. That's definitely the basis to any 45 toss that you want to learn. And now you guys have the tools to do that. So thank you.